What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. Yo, we've got five simple solos that are going to teach you so much. Now, I'm not saying that these solos aren't going to take some work to learn. There's definitely some challenging moments in them, but overall the concepts are pretty simple and I think if you learn these you'll take away so many useful techniques from, from each one of these. So if you want tabs for the solos you can check those out down below. Just a reminder, if you want to check out, uh, I have a guitar course bundle on sale right now until Sunday. It's like 80 some percent off. So uh, if you want to check that out as well, that is linked down below. And uh, yeah, that's available till Sunday. So here they are. Here are five different solos that, you know what, man? They're rip roaring and rock and rolling. So let's get to them. <laughs> Now, of course, I used a bunch of different guitars for that video. Uh, I'm just gonna use the Charvel here to kind of use use it for all of them. But uh, let's start with the first one, which is that Def Leppard solo. Now, uh, this one is, is is a great solo. I mean, it starts off with this big dive bomb, and if you don't have a Wayne bar on your guitar, don't worry, I'll show you how to get by it. Uh, I play a second fret on the D string, and I push the Wayne bar down. Now, you could bend fifth fret on the A string up to seventh, and then uh, kind of like slowly release the bend. Very similar sound. Got to really nail that pitch first time. But anyways, then you slide into five on the B. So basically this is essentially like all out of A major. Then you slide up to seven. Now this part is, uh, I play it different every time, not, not on purpose, on, I accidentally do it, but... And uh, sometimes I pick one twice, only once, you know, it, it all, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So basically I'm playing seven on the high string. And I play it twice and I slide up to nine and then from nine you slide all the way up to 14. So this solo teaches you so much to do with sliding. Now we have that part going on, so... It's such a tongue twister. Uh, basically, it's outlining this A major, A sus2 kind of chord. And uh, you slide into 12 on the B, then you go to 14 on the B. So we have that 14 on the high string, then you slide down to 12. So we have. Uh, now, 
Now this part here is where I'm talking about we're outlining the chord. We're gonna go 14 on the D to 14 on the G, kind of roll your finger. Okay, so. So we have. So you go 14, 14, 12, and then 14 on the B. So. Now you, you jump the G and go back to 14 on the D. Then you go back to 14 on the B. Then you go 14 on the G. It's so confusing. I can I can play it, but when I have to think about it, I mess it up. So we have. Um, now here he uh, he hits a, and, and you can vibrate it with your fingers. Or I think I use my bar. In the now he does a double stop here. A lot of different ways you can do it. Um, I hold down 10 on the B and high string, and I slide up to 12, back down. So we have. Now this part here is basically like a little pedal point thing. You're gonna play nine on the G twice, which is palm muted, then 10 on the high. Then you go twice again on the G, and then nine on the high string. And you play nine on the G twice again, palm muted. Now up here you do another double stop. I get 14 on the B and high string. Okay, and now this part here is you hear uh, there's a lower octave happening as well. So you can do octave, but it sounds like to me it's like two different guitars, but maybe it's not. Now I'm just something going from 12, slide up to 14, back to 12, 14, 12. Now, this part is really tricky. So after you do that, you play 10 on the B, and you slide all the way up to 17, and then down to 14. Then you play 14 on the G. Now you're gonna play that 14 like three times on the G, 14 on the B. Okay, so. Um, Now this part here is um fourteen twelve fourteen on the B string twelve on the high fourteen twelve fourteen fourteen on the high string then you go fourteen fifteen now you bend fifteen up on the B and I let the bend come back down I don't think that they do so that whole section I would go. Still playing it wrong, but I think uh, the, I played it right the first time. <laughs> we are on to free because it's all right now, baby. And so on. So, what is hip hop and happening here? Well, this is a, a, a real simple solo, but just really cool. So, we go. So this section here, the, uh, it's, it's simply, uh, it's all out of A minor pentatonic. View it as kind of being box four. And what's happening is you're playing 14 on the G and then 13 on the B. And to me, it sounds like he's doing a little bit of a bend. Now you go 14, then 15, 13, 14 twice, and then 13 again on the B. Now here you're gonna go, you bend 15 up a full step and come back down and then you pull off. So you don't pick it again, you pull, okay? And you pull off to 13, so. Now you're gonna play 15 again now. 13 on the B and then 14 twice on the G and you add some vibrato at the end, okay? Now you do the whole thing again, but the next time, how before we went, you don't play that 15 there. You're gonna go to 13 twice. So you go. Now the only thing that really changes here is at the end, he goes like this. Now what this is, is you're doing the same kind of So 
So that part there is bending that 15 up and then it come back down and releasing it. Now here, then after that, what you're gonna do is you go up to 17 and you bend it up a step and a half. Now 13 on the B to 14 on the G. Then bend 15 on the high string, up a full step. I messed up there a little bit. So next we have Don't Stop Believing, and this start off as a little fast run, but aside from that, it's all very straightforward, essentially outlining these, uh, you know, E major kind of chords. And uh, the fast run is just this, so like I said, it's all out of E major, you're gonna go 13, 14, 16 on the G, now you go to the B string and you're gonna go 14, 16, 17. Now you, here you have some half step bends, you're gonna go 16 on the high string, bend up 17, and you go 14 on the high string, and bend that 16 again. Okay, so. Now you're gonna go, which is 14, 16, bend, come back down. Back to 14, so. So 17, 16, 17 on the B. 14 on the B. And then 16 on the G, so. Back to that 16, bend it again, then 14, 16. Now you go back to that 14, and then 17 on the B to 17 on the high string. Now when you play that 17 on the high string, you're gonna bend it up a full... Okay, so... Now here you're gonna go to 21, sorry, I was a little flat there. Uh, 21, you bend up a full step, and then you bend up another half step to get it back up to the E. So we have... Oh. oh, and I went flat again. What, what can you do? Okay, I had to switch guitars. The Sharp kept going on tune and didn't feel like dealing with the Floyd Rose. So, uh, the last two that we have here are Shoot to Thrill, which is a, it's a real simple kind of short solo for Angus. There's a longer solo, but we're just doing the first one. And I'll show you the little first part of it. It goes. This part here, and he's basically just doing these double stops. It's on seven on the G and eight on the B. And then seven. Okay, you do it twice. Now you're gonna play just sevens this time. Now you bend five. Okay, and there's that part. Now he comes up here and he goes. Which is just uh, kind of, you know, a, such a signature Angus Young thing. This is, if you really want to take away something from this solo, <laughs> learn how to do these. Uh, you're bending 15 on the B and then playing 15 on the high string with your pinky. Now you do that twice and on the third time you just bend the 15 and hold it out with some vibrato. Now you do a look here. Which is just building uh, 15 up, and you come back down, pull up to 13, go to 14 on the B, and then back 13. This is also out of that box four, just like the free solo was. And the next time you do it again, and I believe on the third time, you grab it and you keep it bent and you just play both strings together now and it gives you this real angry sound. And you move up here and do the same thing. And that's it. And if you listen to Angus, he does a lot of like moving around, so he's like... And I believe uh, while Malcolm's going, Angus going, which is just going uh, 14 on the D and then 12 on the G and B. And you play it again, you bend. <laughs> so 
So there she threw. Now the final one is this little uh, chunk out of the Sweet Child of Mine. There's three solos. The second solo is actually my favorite, but I thought we would just use the first one for this example. And it goes like this. Now, uh, what exactly is happening here is he's basing this all out of like G major. G major, D mixolydian, uh, you know, there's some different ways to look at it, I guess. But uh, basically we're starting out like this. You're gonna go 10, eight, seven on the B string. Do it again. And this time you go 10 to eight, but you go to nine on the G. Now you're gonna go 10-8. Now here's the tricky part. Now that part is, you're bending 10 up on the B string. You go to eight and you bend 10 again. Now you're gonna get that uh, 10 on the high string, just like what we did in the shoot to throw solo. Okay. You play it again and then you're gonna pick it again and bend it. Now you go to nine on the G, you bend up a full stop. So. And that is it guys, like I said before, hope you enjoy that. If you want the tabs for all the solos, those are linked down below. You can check out, like I said, my guitar course bundle, which is on sale right now, if you are digging on that. And uh, yo, other than that, we are out of here. Keep on rocking, homies, and I will see you all later. Peace out. Oh wait, guitar i five, what am I doing? Pop.